Hello everybody, this is Stefan Landefer from C-Quality. This time we want to show you what is the best setup to perform live video streaming here with a Qt application. So the test setup, here we have a digital camera from Arc Vision here that's connected with an ethernet cable here to this IMX8 module. That's the Apalis module from a Toradex board and a full HD display running a Qt application. And of course here you have touch interaction. You can do something with it. And the important thing here is we want to stream the pixels inside a Qt application here. So here we have four different videos. Video streaming here. This is a live stream from this camera. And here we have a video stream from a file that's read from the file system. Yeah, and um, when you have live video streams, you not just wanna have a high frame rate uh, and a good picture quality, you also wanna have a very low latency. So latency means the uh, delay more or less you get from the reality until the pixels arrive on the display can see this here with my hand. So in the reality, uh, it's already up and here it's down. And you can see that here, the latency of the MJPEG extreme here down is the best because here the hand movement arrives faster than here on the top. Here we have H.264 stream here, H.264. This is an RTP stream. This is an RTSP RTP stream. Um, yeah, so that's just for comparison here. We have 25 frames per second with this video configuration here. And here on the MJPEG stream, we have done a configuration with this camera with 50 frames per second. So that's the difference here. And here on this H.264 frame, read from the file system, we also have 60 frames. Um, yeah, they are all four of them are rendered live on the IMX8. So that's basically the performance figure that you can achieve. The IMX8 is capable of rendering four video streams simultaneously. But in order to achieve this, we have to use the hardware decoder on the IMX8. That's really very important. If you don't set up these streams using the hardware decoder with GStreamer and Qt to render it on the display, you're stuck with, uh, with uh, yeah, very low frames and very, very high delays and latencies. So hardware decoder is really a must. It's very important for all of these. And there's a lot of different hardware decoders here. The MJPEG hardware decoder and here the H.264 hardware decoder that is used on the IMX8 here. Good. Um, so at the end, more or less, we try to figure out, okay, what is really the best setup here with the lowest latency and the highest um, frame rate and the highest picture quality here in this setup with this ArcVision camera. We are using Qt 515 here with the QML application, Qt Multimedia, a GStreamer backend that is configured in the media player element with a string here using the hardware decoders. And of course the camera, the arc vision, the sensor of the camera is set to 50 Hertz and the picture quality of 720p here on this. The MJPEG codec is used, so not the H264, the MJPEG. We had slightly better latency results with the MJPEG codec here. So the latency is only 90 milliseconds here in the stream and we're reaching about 50 frames per second. So just to demonstrate the picture quality here with the high frequency image parts here with the shading here or here the, the text and the logo of the quality that's in, with a high quality. Also the has a very good dynamic range. The high, uh, the, um, the bright pixels here and the darker ones um, rendered quite good here. 
So that's a quite good result. Yeah, we did some additional analysis also with Qt6, with other cameras and um, with other stream setups. If you wanna read more about this, go to our website, www.quality.at slash blog. Here again, get more information about details. But for today now, thank you very much. That's it and see you next time. Goodbye.